I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at IFTTT. Now, this is just sort of an initial overview of the system because it's really sort of one of the core features that people use for modern DIY home automation systems. And, you know, I think a little history here is important. Um, when I first started doing this over 10 years ago, to do a home automation system, you were hacking a lot of stuff together. So maybe you'd have smart switches, it was X10 was the standard, um, and there really wasn't any interoperability between different systems. So usually you'd be running some kind of server with a often custom software, you know, command line sending controls to your X10 system, maybe reading switches, relays, and things like that. So very, very um, kind of, you know, hands-on. Uh, and uh, it was, you know, you really had to run a computer in your home to actually manage all of this stuff. Now, you know, fast forward 10 years, now you have this whole ecosystem of consumer products that are home automation products. And that's, you know, everything from a Nest thermostat, Nest cameras, um, slage of uh, front door locks. Um, you have all kinds of, you know, sensors from smart things that you can put around your house. Your cell phone is feeding location data out. Um, maybe you have smart switches from TP-Link that you can plug in and control uh, fountain. Maybe you have a smart speaker um, that you have from, you know, either Google Home or from Amazon. So there's all of these consumer products that have these kind of home automation capabilities built in. And then on top of that, there's all kinds of web services like weather and that kind of thing. And also um, services you probably use on a day-to-day -day basis that might be able to tie data into your home automation system. And one of the challenges with these is that, you know, each system probably has its own ways of triggering events. So I've shown, you know, with Amazon uh, Alexa, you can actually set up these routines where, you know, for example, I can say to change the color of the lights in a particular room in my house, and it'll do that with my Hue lights. Um, or I can schedule to have uh, my backyard lights go on and off at a specific time of day using a Smart Things compatible plug. Uh, but at the same time, you know, Smart Things has its own ecosystem, and often they're not pulling in data like location very accurately, um, and they're not logging things in any way that you can easily access them. So what IFTTT does for home automation and really for any of these sort of web-enabled services that we all use these days is it actually uses all of their APIs and allows you to tie the services together. And that's a very powerful thing. So you can use um, triggers from one service to perform an action with another service. And you can link hundreds of different services into this. And you can see here, I've just started to load up um, a new IFTTT profile that I'm gonna use to demonstrate some of the capabilities. But you can see already, I've got some basic things like social networks here. Um, I've got uh, some other kind of cloud services like Google Sheets. Location is a generic service. It can pull locations from the IFTTT app on your phone, from other kinds of location providing services like your, um, your Hue or Nest uh, services. And then I've also put in my Nest thermostat here. And basically, again, you have this profile and you're integrating services into it. And these can be any of these, any of these sort of off the shelf uh, services that are available. So I'm gonna go in here and just start to type, you know, Hue, for example. Um, there's Hue uh, services here from Philips Hue. So you can easily integrate your lights into IFTTT. Let's look at Wise, a popular camera brand that comes up as well. Um, let's see, there's Schlage on there. It doesn't look like they're on there. Um, but, you know, basically you can integrate a lot of these different services you're probably already using um, into, uh, into IFTTT. And then once you've done that, as I showed here, you've got all these little um, kind of icons indicating what you've connected. Then you can actually go into each one and you can set up triggers and events that you want to have happen. So a really simple one I'm just going to show to get started really isn't home automation. This is just tying together two different social networks. But I have one set up so that every time I publish a YouTube video, it's going to upload that to my Tumblr blog. So just a very simple way to integrate these two social media things together, not making any changes in my home. But again, when you do start to integrate it with uh, home automation products, it gets a lot more powerful. So let's go into Nest Thermostat and see some of the different um, options that are available here. Um, so, you know, there's a lot and it's showing how this can integrate with different services. So if I've got a Roomba, for example, I can use this uh, widget here 
to have my Roomba start automatically when my Nest thermostat detects that I'm away. So you're using that really powerful home and away function that Nest has to start a physical robot, you know, moving around your house. Um, you can connect with uh, Gritty to connect with your uh, electrical provider, set your thermostat differently when electrical prices are high, if you're on a time of use plan. Um, you can do all kinds of different things here, you know, turn off the lights using a TP-Link switch when your Nest thermostat detects that you're away. Um, with air, air quality monitoring, you can switch a fan on with the thermostat when there's high CO2 levels in your house. So all of these really um, powerful connections between different services. And that's really the power that you get with IFTTT. So ideally you want to create a new profile. It's very simple to do on their website. And then just start to, to get started, integrate all of your different services together um, and just start to connect them in. And you'll be usually directed to a sign in from that particular service when it comes time to link. But IFTTT does a really good job of uh, of doing that. So I'm going to go to explore and just show, you know, say I wanted to connect my Philips Hue lights. I can go into services and then I can say connect um, and it's going to bring up the Hue website. And then I would just go ahead and enter my credentials and log in here and it would connect that back in. And then on IFTTT, I would have access to all of these Hue uh, related kind of recipes and setups. So that's the basic concept. Um, I'm gonna show a lot more detail on how I can use these, but you can start to see even just scrolling through here, um, you know, how powerful this can become when you're starting to integrate the capabilities of your different home automation systems together. And because this is all happening in the cloud, you don't have to run that clunky, you know, server that sits in your home and coordinates all your stuff for you. It's all being done remotely through this cloud service and you're able to uh, access and control and make things a lot smarter by having all of these siloed products start to actually work together and talk to each other. So in other videos, I'll show um, how to do different, you know, really helpful things with specific services. But for now, I would just recommend get started, create an account, integrate all the services that you already use um, into this. And then you can start to go through and see really interesting ways to connect them together. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, or you want to see what I do with connecting IFTTT services up and uh, making my smart home talk to uh, other you know, components more uh, helpfully, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.